every year we come to this point at this month 29th of June to thank God for the apostles Peter and Paul we have heard so many reflections about them but for us today what can we gather from the readings during this celebration we have on the one hand Peter an impetuous man he can he can be very impulsive then later on will commit so many mistakes but according to the gospel today see Jesus told him happy are you Simon son of Jonah that happiness given to, to Peter according to Jesus doesn't come from his own it was a grace given to him by the father something we can gather from this a learning a reflection like Peter we have so many faults we can be like him impulsive we can be a person who is always unthinking unreflecting but because God gave us the grace to be a Christian to follow him he will give us that grace so that Jesus will tell us you are happy because that thing that you have was not was not of your own accord but rather a grace given to you by my father Peter accomplished so much he was given the keys to the kingdom of God we can accomplish so much if our source of happiness doesn't rely only on our own capacity to be the agent of our development the agent of our change the agent of our growth we have to be constantly be open to the grace of the father so that we can proclaim that Jesus is the son of God then we have Paul a very intelligent person a learned person but very strict however he was also called by God he was converted just like Peter another lesson for us only when we experience tremendous conversion a conversion that goes deep into our being as a person as a Christian can we be like Paul God will use all our intellectual faculties our focus in life our understanding of people of every nation our understanding about our difficulties our capacity to withstand tremendous difficulties because there was a profound change in us just like that profound change in Paul he was persecuting the early followers of Christ but because of that conversion he changed so much that he became the promoter of the gospel to the non-Jewish Christians the Gentiles in fact our church today owes so much from St. Paul, from his letters, the way he shared the good news to others. Another learning for us. If we are very aware of God's calling us and we are converted from the deepest part of ourselves, then we can follow him no matter the, what the cost will be for us our capacity to explain the gospel our capacity to share the good news will no longer be dependent on our limited 
understanding of who God is for us, but rather it will depend from the grace that God is giving us daily. As Jesus tells us, don't be afraid what you will say before the courts. The Spirit of the Father will be there to speak for you. Both these apostles, despite their human failings, they were tremendous evangelizers, tremendous missionaries. They did not rely mainly on their personal strengths, their intellectual or personal capacities. They were so open to the Spirit of the Father through Jesus that they became th that tremendous pillars of the early church. We can have these attributes if we are open to the Spirit of the Father. So we pray for that as we celebrate the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul.